Hi, thanks for watching DC Honeybees TV. Today we're going to be making pollen patties, or trying to make pollen patties. And I want to qualify this by saying that in deference to Michael Bush, the god of all things uh, beekeeping, um, that I know that we're not supposed to be feeding them pollen patties if we can avoid it. Uh, and I promise that as soon as I start seeing pollen coming into the hives that I will take these patties off. But in the meantime, if you want to have your bees get a good start in the spring, uh, this is one way to do it. We, uh, the makings of the pollen patties are, are fairly simple. Uh, we have uh, soy flour, which is your main ingredient. Soy flour you can usually find in the grocery section, uh, in the baking section. It's about $3 a pound. We have non-fat dry milk, and we have yeast. This yeast actually came from the Whole Foods market. I got it in the bulk food area. It was, uh, it's called nutritional yeast in the bulk food area, and it sells for about $8 a pound. This is about half a pound of it. The ratios of the ingredients are uh, one part yeast, one part non-fat dry milk, actually, uh, and then three parts uh, soy flour. We also have some two-to-one syrup here, uh, about uh, a third of a cup of canola oil, uh, the juice of half a lemon, and one vitamin that I have uh, ground down uh, to powder. Uh, so what we're going to do first is combine some of these ingredients. So I've taken all the ingredients with the exception of a small measure of the soy flour and combined them in a mixer and added just enough of the two to one syrup to give it a peanut butter consistency. And I'm gonna let this go for uh, a few minutes to allow all the things to mix together and have the, uh, um, the uh, flour absorb the, uh, the water. Okay. We've mixed this. It has a few little chunks of soy flour in it, but for the most part, it's fairly. So the reason we produce pollen patties is to provide a, uh, a protein source to the hive. Uh, the honey provides the carbohydrate source uh, or the energy source, and the protein source provides the building blocks for the hive to build, uh, build the larva and the brood. Um, so the soy flour was, is about probably about 35% protein, um, and the non-fat milk is also high in protein. The nutritional yeast contains uh, many B vitamins, which are important to the um, uh, important to the bees, and which is why we include that. We include the um, lemon juice as a way of um, uh, providing vitamin C to the pollen patty, but also as, a, as an inducement to the bees to come up to the pollen patty as it sits on the top of the bars. And finally, the canola oil has been described for to me as being an important lipid uh, that the bees also need. I've transferred the uh, contents of the mixing bowl onto this board, and you can use a just countertop. I just happen to have this board here, and I'm kneading in the balance of the soy flour to try to stiffen up this pollen patty, make it a little less moist, a little more of a bread-like consistency, only because it makes it easier to work with uh, when it's dried out. And right now it feels like damp dough or, you know, clay. Add a little more here. And let's just pretend for a second it's done. What I'll do is I'll break off a piece, hit it with some flour soy flour. Break it off and stick this between a couple of pieces of, of um, wax paper and put this right on top of the top bars above the brood area and the bees should take it and it will give them a head start in spring for spring buildup ahead of the nectar flow or that's the plan. Well that's it for pollen patties. Thank you for watching DC Honeybees TV please visit our website at www.dchoneybees.com and thank you for supporting our effort to get more bees on more rooftops in Washington, D.C.